These are those locking caps that they put on here that only that one company supposedly has the key to take them off, but I cut through it with a steel tipped blade, or a diamond tipped blade. And you can see there's kind of, there's, see how it moves around loosely, there's another layer that's like a little threaded brass cylinder inside there. But I need to somehow grip that to be able to unscrew it. I think. Yeah, see it doesn't it doesn't grip it unless I jam something in that slit that I put there right there. I don't know, maybe I went a little too far. Okay, my method of putting some there's some granulated steel in this epoxy here that I put in that slit and it was actually able to glue the inner threaded cylinder to the outer one. Now I can just unscrew it. And it doesn't spin clean. You see that's the inner threaded brass one that usually would spin separately from this outer hexagonal nut. Um, but the slit and the epoxy that I put in the slit solidified it so that they now turn together and I can get this off and I can use the, I think this is a 5 8 size Schrader valve here because the regular ones they use on a car you know these are the caps for a regular car one this is a quarter inch a little bit smaller that won't fit on me, so I'll just continue using this gas guard that uh, here. progress. Yeah, you can see it's making a little bit of progress there. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that's hot. You can see that the slit is a little bit wider. See when I move it, you can see the station in the inner glass cylinder doesn't move. That's what we want to stick to the hex and that so that we can unscrew it all in one piece. This is what I'm using. Once I get it all on the slit, I just kind of spin it around so that it coats the inner glass cylinder with all the glue and just kind of gums it all up. <laughs> 